demonstration video today we are going to demonstrate about an advanced pump controller yeah advanced i mean that the controller can use uh, solar energy or dc energy this energy can be got from uh, solar panels or batteries and at the same time it can use ac power or alternating power Alternating power can be from national grid or generators that can generate alternating power. So why we call it advanced is that it has several advanced features. Uh, for example, um, it can be connected to DC. Direct, it converts direct uh, the direct current directly without any other component to run an AC water pump. Yeah, our AC pump today is this. Uh, Grand force pump. Uh, it is a 2.2 kilowatt pump. Yeah. Um, and our uh, our our power today is going to be solar panels. We shall see them later. But let's first talk about what we mean with advanced pump controller. Yeah. Um, this controller has several features. For example, you can connect to DC power by solar panels or batteries. It can connect to AC or alternating power. It has features of protecting the pump from running dry. Then the tank, you can connect a tank, uh, a tank, a tank level switch, so that when the tank is full, the controller will switch off the pump automatically. Now here you can, um, it has uh, about three operating modes. So you can select the controller to run only on direct current. You can select it to use alternating current only or you can set auto when you set automatic uh, it will select dc power if there is dc but as well it can select ac if dc power is not is not there if for example you want to pump 24 7 or 24 hours a day day and night uh, when you set auto during the day it can use solar energy at night it switches automatically to AC. That's if you have connected both. When you select hybrid, um, hybrid, it um, you input both AC and DC power. So when the DC power is not sufficient to output the rated output for the for the controller, which is in this case it is two point two. So if you connect both, and DC power is not sufficient. To generate 2.2 kilowatts it compensates the balance with ac power so here the output is 2.2 that is hybrid mode now the other future is uh, the remote controlled lighting you can control the pump or a controller remotely eh? we are going to put a sim card and we shall demonstrate that you can put a sim card here this is our antenna to try to help boost the network. So you put a SIM card here, and once you have uh, internet on your phone, wherever you want, you can switch on the pump. You can switch it off. Uh, you can see the car, the, 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 um, the real time operating uh, operating parameters. Like you can see how much power you're getting, uh, the output, the voltage, the current, and the rest. So we are going to connect it and we shall see how it will work. Uh, yeah, we have our side protection devices here and the circuit breaker. Let's just see, this wire has come from our solar panels. Let's just see the panels, then we we'll do the connection. Yeah, these are going to be our solar panels. Uh, yeah, let's do the connection and we we'll see how things will work out. Um, yes, welcome back to our demonstration video. Uh, we have now connected our uh, uh, advanced inverter, uh, pump inverter to be more specific. Yeah, we are now going to see how it works. Uh, we currently have only DC power, but in the case we have AC, uh, AC would also be lighting. Um, yeah, we have put a SIM card inside. That is why this light for remote controlled lighting is lighting. Uh, we have selected DC because we don't have AC, otherwise we would connect, we would test 
automatic and hybrid, as we had mentioned earlier. So currently, we are having um, we are we are having amps of 4.3. Uh, that is the speed of the motor we are going to see about 2,380. But it keeps on changing. Uh, the current power we have is around 1. Point, yeah, 1.2. Yeah, around 1.2 kilowatt or 1,200 uh, watts. Uh, those are the volts we have about 390, 400. Yeah, this is our motor connected and running. Um, yeah, we're going to see the panels and then the sprinklers. Yeah, those are solar panels. And these are our sprinklers operating uh, using the hybrid controller. Um, we're going to test another future of our advanced pump controller. That is dry run protection. Yeah, uh, you can come and close here. So when the controller detects that there is no water from the water source, it will automatically switch off the pump. So I've closed the water supply. Let's see what happens. That one don't close. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the pump gets off. The control automatically switch off the, the pump to protect it from running dry. Running dry means it runs without water. The pump will overheat. Um, uh, then the mechanical seals will be will be burnt and then you lose your pump But for this particular controller you, you don't need to connect water level switches in the well When it detects that there is no water It will get off But it, it will automatically try to restart. Let's see what will happen Yeah, the, the controller is, is trying to automatically restart the pump but when it detects that there is no water, because we have closed off the supply of water from the tanks, let's see what will happen. Yeah, it will, it will get it off and it shows you that there is a problem with the well. Yes, we want to test another feature of our pump controller, which is uh, uh, the tank option whereby when the tank is full, the controller will automatically switch off the pump, whether the pump is submersible or whether it is surface pump. So I'm going to switch on here. Like this is our water level switch. You can put it in the tank. Yes, the pump is currently uh, pumping. The sprinklers are working, but uh, you may not be delivering water to the sprinkler. You may be delivering it to, uh, to the tank. So let's assume this is our tank, and maybe the tank is full. Uh, so when, when the water level goes down, like below here, if it goes below this sensor, the controller will automatically switch off the pump and tell you that no, the tank, actually the tank is full, you, so it is no longer pumping water and it gives you a warning. But when the water level in the tank goes down, Let's assume this is our turn and our sensor is down. After 30 seconds, but it is you to save the second, the delay time for ready to restart in case what has been used in the time. So let's wait for around 30 seconds to see if it will restart <coughs> the pump again. Yeah, 30 seconds have passed. So the controller will automatically restart the pump when there is no water in the tank. Um, yeah, and the lighting on the tank will go off. Yeah, but for our case, why you are seeing that the sensor in the, is in the water but the pump is working, is because we have our storage tanks outside, actually let's see them. Let's see our tanks. These are our tanks. So, uh, we have connected it in the opposite. There is also that connection option. Such as when, this, the, the, when water in the tank gets uh, Pass the sensor, we connect the sensor, it is passing along this line. Yeah, this one has a wire for the to connect the sensor. So, in our case, when the water level goes down here, 
um, the, the, the controller will switch off the pump because we don't want it to run dry. Mm. But even if there's no water, it will still uh, automatically disconnect the pump off. Yes, we are going to see how we can remotely uh, operate all control, all of the operating parameters of the advanced pump controller. Yeah, we have connected the SIM card. I think we need to see the SIM card. Our SIM card, our connect SIM card is here. Yes. Uh, let me close and then we see how we can remotely control. So when you have connected the SIM card, this remote control lighting will light. And if it is connected, it will light green like you are seeing. If it is not connected, it will keep on blinking. Yeah. Um, this is our app application. Um, yeah, this is our application. So it shows that the pump is online. Let's open it so you can uh, see the reports. You can see the output frequency, output voltage, and output current from anywhere so long as you have internet. Uh, let's go to real time and see. You can see the output frequency. You can see the voltage, current, uh, the, the, the DC bus voltage, or the voltage coming from the solar panels. You can see the temperature. You can see the working speed, uh, which is around two, uh, 2,200. You can see the daily working time, open circuit voltage, input power, uh and other information so let's go to control and see we want to stop our pump but remotely yeah let me press on stop yeah it will automatically stop it will go off minus anyone being here